Carnes is here to tell us more about it. Yeah, nobody can call for that, I'm afraid, right? Uh, it's a stride stride. Here we go. Check this out. And we're going to add some percentages in. Look at this. The rainfall deficit, the percent of normal rainfall for the past 30 days, 7, 6, 6, 15, 5%. It is dry out there, you people. It is going to stay dry for the foreseeable future. No major rain in our forecast. And take a look at this. Allison Pryor comp uh, compiling this this morning. The driest two months on record. Here we go. This is the months must be consecutive. Number one, back in 1938, September and October. Number two, also September and October, 2023. Look at that. Two month total, 0.42 inches of rain. That is it. And again, no big changes on the way. The fire danger remains high. As a matter of fact, until 8 p.m., because of the breezes along with the extremely dry conditions, we have a fire weather warning in effect for our North Georgia counties, which means that any fires that start can start easily, and the winds can pick those up and make them spread out of control before you know it. We have that elevated fire danger on the Tennessee side for our Tennessee counties as well. Well, what does November portend? Well, average uh, temperatures for November 68 and 45. That's the average high and the average low for today's date. Uh, but what we're dealing with is more like late November weather, early December weather. The average by November 30th is a 57 degree high and a 37 degree low. Average precipitation, oh, don't we hope and wish. 4.8 inches of rain. If we got that, my stars, we'd all be happy, wouldn't we? Uh, also something to look forward to, we lose about 45 minutes of daylight and average snowfall zero. Another hard freeze tonight. We're going to see freezing again on Thursday night for a lot of our communities and then gradual warming late week and through the weekend. 52 right now in Chattanooga. Dew point 14. That's it. That means there is literally no water in the air at all. Well, not literally no, but very, very little. It's dry. Your skin's going to be dry. Make sure, by the way, you're drinking lots of water. Keep yourself hydrated, keeps the skin healthy, makes you feel better as well. 50 Dalton right now, 50 Cleveland and 48 in Murphy, 52 Chattanooga. Uh, cooling down to 46 by 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. it'll be 42. Uh, 633, your sunset time. Make sure you take the dogs out for a walk. My daughter is doing that right now, as a matter of fact, uh, that they are running around bundled up and staying warm. 29 tomorrow morning, 59 by tomorrow afternoon. We're looking at a high of 60 tomorrow and high pressure is going to be the dominant feature, just keeping us nice and dry and cold, especially during the morning hours. Thursday afternoon will warm up a little bit to about 60 for the high 65 on Friday. And then over the weekend, we're actually going to climb into the low 70s and notice lots of sunshine from here to there. 28 degrees tonight to cool, breezy evening, but those winds are going to die down as we head through the overnight. We are going to have areas of frost pretty widespread tomorrow as we get even colder, dropping to 28 Chattanooga, low to mid 20s outside the city. Make sure you're taking care of the four P's. Heat home safely. Check on others. Bring pets inside. Move the potted plants indoors if you haven't already. Cover up the ones outdoors. And this might be a night to make sure that all of the exposed pipes and faucets are taken care of as well. Quick look at tomorrow. Freezing start, then cool and actually pleasant in the afternoon. Upper 50s right around 60. And there is a quick look at the storm alert seven day forecast showing those low 70s over the weekend. Cool mornings, nice afternoons, setting the clock back one hour as we oh we've got too much daylight anyway don't we we'll stay in the mid 70s through monday 73 tuesday back down to 68 on wednesday with increasing clouds